Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I have another Mother's Day um, themed uh, tutorial. However, this obviously can be used for anything. Um, and this is this gorgeous, very large, very long um, clutch bag. So I thought this would be nice to do, um, you know, just if you've got that mum that loves her handbags and just, you know, something very girly, then I thought this would be perfect um, as a gift bag. So on the side here, you can see it's got this concertina um, side, so it expands. You've got the top here, so you've got room again for whatever you're putting inside. And then I've just finished it off with these gorgeous flowers and these embellishments. Now inside here is a magazine and a chocolate, well, a chocolate bar and um, I want to put nice, um, some nice tea bags in there as well. So the idea is, is that you sit down and relax, take some time out on Mother's Day, which is what we obviously want our mums to do. So it just opens up there with a Velcro dot, and then inside, like I said, I've got the chocolate bar here. This is just a standard magazine. So the length of this is 12 inches, and all the magazines are A4, so they're just less than that. They're 11 and 5 eighths of an inch, or 11 and 3 quarters. So it should fit pretty much every magazine that there is. And like I said, I just want to get a tea bag, and um, I might put a couple of other little nice bits in there as well. So, and then it all just closes nicely, like so. And again, if you're not using this for Mother's Day, and you're just doing this as a nice birthday box um, for a friend, you could put a tag on here. Obviously you can decorate it entirely how you want, but I just thought that looks really, really lovely. So that's what we're gonna make. So I'm just gonna pop that one over there. So I used, for that one, I used the Beyond the Shore. Oh, my focus went there. Yeah, so I used this one here, which was this print bottom left. Um, but for today's I am using, oh no, I'm using the same again for today's. I'm now using the polka dot. I was gonna use the Wanderlust, but I've changed, so. Um, I'm using that one there. So bring all that in. Again, I'll share all the links in my um, blog. So I have cheated with the flowers. Usually I die cut, but I saw these in, it's either the range or the works in the UK. I can't remember which one. I'll try and find the links, but basically they're pre-cut. I've got a feeling it's, it, 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 it is the works, um, but basically they are these little paper pre-cut dies die cut flowers so you get the larger ones then you get the medium and you get the small so I used the like kind of indigo bluey kind of color for this one here and then I'm going to use the pinks for today um, for this bag so there's all the pink ones I played around with some other ones there which I'm probably going to use in something else no doubt just layering up the two different colors so I've already gone ahead and done so basically I've used here one, two, three big flowers, two medium and two small. So I've done my three big ones, I've done my two small, I could have sworn I've done another medium as well. Have I dropped one on the floor? No I haven't, so I need to do those when we get to it, but that's fine. So you are going to need, I've got all these lovely rhinestone um, embellishments there and I've got these other little um, sequiny kind of ones there as well. And then the card, so you do need two pieces of 12 by 12 because the main case is just one piece of 12 by 12. And then you need um, another piece to cut the um, flap for the top and also the sides. So you need one piece of 12 by 12 and you're gonna score this one. So depending on what print you've got, I've got a polka dot so it doesn't matter either way, but basically the two score lines that we're doing here, so you're scoring one at five and one at seven. And then if I just quickly fold these, this is the bottom of our clutch bag. So whatever print you've got, you obviously want to make sure it faces up that way. So when you put it in here, you want your print to be going up to the left hand side. Okay, so that is that piece. So like I said, 12 by 12, score at five and seven, and then just burnish so you get that kind of effect there. These papers are great because they're double-sided, so you get a nice inside as well as the outside. Then you need one piece of four, is it four, is it just over, no, yep, four by 12. And you wanna score along the four inch side, you're gonna score at one, and then at one and a half. Okay, so again, just burnish those two lines and that is just giving you that piece at the top like so okay so that's what you want so that's going to stick on the back and then that will flap down to the front and then you need two pieces for the concertina so I've already done that one there but these measure uh, what have I got here four and seven eighths of an inch yeah four and seven eighths of an inch by six 
okay so scoring along the yeah the six inch side just have to check I was doing it right then you want to score every half an inch so half one one and a half two and so on until you get to the end and remember this is along the six inch uh, side okay and then you want to fold the first one down then up and just kind of loosely do it first just get it all together I find this easier it's just like when I do the rosettes and my file that I've done I've done a big concertina file which is where this idea kind of came from really um, and again I'll share those links and I've done a clutch bag which was really popular as well last year and I'll share that link as well because that might give you more ideas so once it's kind of loose like that just pinch down the sides and then work it in you want to make sure it all stays completely on top of each other so it's all perfect so you've got a nice kind of sides there it's not going off wonky to one side or something okay so there we have it and there's the one I've already done like so okay so that's everything scored so get rid of the scoreboard bring in this other piece here and just with your you just want to open it back up again and this is what's going to be on the outside so if I wanted that side um, well I'm not, I'm not going to explain that because I've done it this way because this is the way I'm doing it so this is the outside so you're just going to run your tape along here making sure that you're kind of sitting it close to the score line there I'm just going to cut this end off and again So, and just make sure you squeeze it all back into place again. So you should have two pieces like that with your tape facing the outside on the two sides of the mountain folds, which are on either side. Okay, that's that done. So now we can start putting it all together. So first of all, we're going to add in these two pieces here. Now what I find easiest, because what we're going to do is optional. I'll do it first and you can see what you think, but I've actually stuck some glue on the bottom of this. So this is stuck and it's quite strong now. Um, because if you put it in without it, it will stay in place, but the, the concertina, this bit, will end up kind of going out like that, rather than staying completely straight. So have a play around with it, but what I'm going to do is stick this down first. So you've got your folded piece of paper like so. Take off one of the sides. Okay, fold it down like so okay so I'm just folding that flat and then this side here you want to hog against the outside of your paper and also make sure that the bottom sits perfectly with that score line right at the bottom there okay then it's not really messy it's just a little bit fiddly grab some of your wet glue and you just want to just coat some glue along the bottom. I know there's hardly anything for it to kind of really stick to, but it will it will work. And I'm just literally putting some glue, okay, along all of the edge here. So I've just literally gone just on the tops. And you can see it does stick to it, like so. And this will all dry completely clear as well. And then I'm going to bring this up. And you're going to stick that concertina down roughly okay don't worry too much at the minute how it's kind of looking because it will all dry clear take the rest of your tape off okay make sure that all sits perfectly on the edge there and then bring that side up and again just run it along the side and you can sit that down and just rub your finger inside and now you can just hold that in place and just rest your fingers here on the bottom just to keep that stuck on the bottom here until it all completely dries. You just want a rough kind of even um, kind of fold. You can move it a little bit but this glue dries pretty quickly so already it's starting to stick. Okay so that's all nicely stuck down now and that's all in place. So I'm going to do it again on this side to just show you another way to do it that you might find a bit easier as well. So I did do it this way. So again making sure it's facing out so my polka dots are facing out the right way. You're always putting that mountain bit inside this way so that the, the top of the mountain is facing out 
So again, I'm just lining it up with the bottom of that score line and then the very edge of the paper there. Just running my th finger and thumb along just so I can make sure it's all nicely lined up. Okay, and then I'll also go ahead and stick the other side down. So again, just this piece, this bottom piece goes right to the bottom there, right in that corner where my finger and thumb are. And then again, just follow it all the way along. So it comes up like so. So now this is free. So this is what I was saying about if you've got that now closed, can you see it kind of comes out? And that's why I thought it would be better to stick it down and then you, it doesn't move now. You can see that's all in place. So what you can do is push it out. So this is the bottom. And again, with your glue, just, just run it. There, just so it's just basically making that edge tacky. And you'd be surprised how strong that goes. You want to make sure you have a good glue as I drop it on the floor. And then just bring that down. And again, make sure you've got even folds before you stick it. So you can just kind of play with it at the end here. And then you just want to stick it down to the edge. And what I find is when you've got it in place, if you pinch the top like so, it will all stay there. And then you can just literally pick with that pinched, just keep your finger pushed against the bottom there and that will hold that all there into okay, so that's all now going to dry nicely. Now there, there are ways to just do a, a normal flat side and just score a one inch on the ends here and on the bottom and put it in that way and then just do one score line just to help bend it but I like to create things that look a bit different and this concertina style just gives it that little bit of a wow factor so like I said there are ways to make it work for you so play around with it. So now we just need to add our lid so this piece here which we burnished so this is going to be the outside and it's going to sit on top like so okay so I want to stick tape inside on this bit here so I'm just going to run you can use wet glue but I'm just going to stick with the red tape just run two two pieces along here because this is the half inch uh, red tape like so make sure that's all nicely stuck Remove both of those pieces. Okay, and then keep this down. And then you want to bring this up, and you're basically going to stick this edge here, this top, right up to the, this first score line here. Okay, so if I lie this down, start at one end, so make sure it's right in place. You can stick that down because it's 12, 12 inches, it will join it perfectly like so if you want to use contrast you can I just want it the same I wanted it to look like a handbag really again I've got some velcro darts these are the 16 mil ones and I'm going to put two down this time because I think it, I'm probably going to add some more to that one so the one there and one here. I colour them in as well, you can just colour them in with some um, pens, so purple obviously for these ones, but because there's white in the paper I'm not bothering this time. And then just bring it over, make sure that half an inch score line here sits down like so. Don't do it like that because you're not going to get your velcros in the right place, so just make sure that when you close it that's obviously opening up to that one inch piece, half inch piece. I'm probably not explaining that very well. I'm not really making any sense to myself, but basically you just want to make sure it's opened up to that one in, um, half an inch piece there. And just bring the, the lid down and then just put some pressure. You can't squeeze it right down because you may bend it. Probably could actually do a bit. Yeah, it's okay. Get that down there. Just didn't want to put too any, um, any creases in it. And then just carefully lift it up and then you can really apply some pressure on both of them, make sure they're all stuck down. These are super strong because they're the branded Velcro ones, they are really, really good. And then again, I can now bring that down and now it does it. So it's really, really lovely. So now we just need to decorate it. So I'm going to open it up and do it like this just because it's a bit easier. So I can see my score line here, the first score line, so I'm going to use that as my kind of guide. And I want to put this first one down in the middle here. So I'm just going to grab my glue that I threw on the floor and just put a bit of, this is coming to an end. My mum's got the same one as me, so I think we both need to replace them. 
and just stick this in the middle. Again, I've got a bit of wiggle room so I can move it around there until I'm happy that it's in the middle, like so. And then I put two of the small ones either side at the top. Um, so now I want a small one. And I kind of like, kind of slotted them in between each other. So they're like, kind of over the top. Stick that one there. And again, bring that one in there. Like so. Medium ones, and they're coming off over the edge as well. That's part of you know the look. So this one's kind of hanging off here, but I like that. So I'm going to make another medium one in a minute, and then the big one again goes on the outside here. And put that one kind of there. And I'll stick that medium one. So all it is, if you've got these, it was just one of the medium size, one of the tiny ones. And then an embellishment, so I use that one there, stick that down. Again, this is all very quick. It's not, you know, I wanted to start using, I've got so many lovely embellishments and pre-cut bits and pieces, I thought I want to start using these, so I'm going to, that and embossing folders I need to start using a lot more of. And then this one here, just kind of, again, feed it underneath just so it kind of looks nice and clustered and just stick that down there as well so like i said you could add a label to this um anything you want really and then now that should close down and there you have a really gorgeous very pretty very girly um gift bag so i think i might even decorate this even more i might have flowers along the whole piece I always like to change them up and you'll see what that looks like in the, in the photos anyway. Um, but there you have it. So those are my um, clutch bags and they hold the magazine, tea bag and some chocolate and obviously anything you want in it. But as I said with the black one that I made last year, this one here I just love to take out. I think that just looks, you know, you've got that under your arm like so. I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. So there you have it. So I hope you like um, this tutorial from me today. If you did, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye.